My name is Tyler Kessler. We have a consulting company. We're a SWAT map partner, as well as do agronomic consulting. We've been using SWAT maps since 2016. Our experience providing SWAT maps has been very positive. It's our only variable rate offering. It's the base map that we utilize to, to do all of our agronomy on, whether it's fertility, seeding rates, we utilize for herbicides, some fungicide work. It's been good working with the SWAT team. We are very supported as, a, as an independent business, and it's nice to have that support to work with our clients. Our business has changed since we started providing SWAT maps and in a sense at how we really approach our, our variable soils and how we look at you know what's happening above ground. The SWAT map is the base layer and we can identify the soil properties and identify some, some reasons on why things are happening in a field. So a couple examples on how we use SWAT maps with our, with our farmer clients and the advantages that we've seen. I'll kind of look at two different spectrums, I guess. Number one would be salinity. We work in an area where we do have, you know, some significant salinity and we've been able to utilize SWAT maps to, to change how we, we treat those areas within a field. So not only are we, you know, removing some of the costly inputs that we have to put into those saline areas, we're actually establishing higher plant stands and starting to get some ground cover and, and reduce our weeds in those saline areas by utilizing SWAT maps. The other, you know, kind of geography that I work in is very good soil, some flat, heavy clay soils. And we're able to change how we approach our, our fertility aggressiveness, I guess, if you want to say that, with those clients. So, you know, lodging is, is common in heavy clay soils and in those low lying topographic areas, the depressions. So we can really manage the lodging risk in there and the maturities and then target maybe some of the higher topographic areas, the higher zones, and really push those areas to maximize those extra bushels in those fields. The primary reason why we got into swap maps was because we, we needed a variable rate map a base map and I had sat on the sidelines. I worked in retail for a decade before I really believed anything was out there that I, I trusted and, and wanted to use. And I knew there's variability in the field. I wanted to manage it. We had equipment abilities to utilize, but there was no map. And when my grower, actually the first grower that, that got a field mapped by CropPro at the time, it just made sense. Mm -hmm. 